Consuming data through Microsoft graphing SharePoint pages with SharePoint Framework, it's now a breeze. Hi, my name is Luca, and I am a PM in the SharePoint product group. Starting with release 1.4 of the SharePoint Framework, we introduced new capabilities and functionalities to help developers connecting to the Microsoft Graph, consuming data by using Microsoft Graph and other web APIs, as well as configure permissions inside their application. And lastly, we also introduced functionalities and capability to administrators to be able to manage these kind of permissions in within their tenancies. MS Graph Client is a class provided by the SharePoint Framework that developers can use with their, within their code. It wraps the Microsoft Graph JavaScript client library and handles authentication transparently by using ADAL.js library functionality. It also fully supports Microsoft Graph TypeScript types to help you in finding error and troubleshooting your code faster. To consume Microsoft Graph or any other web API, you need to explicitly declare the permission requirements. Starting from 1.4.1 of the SharePoint framework, developers can configure required permission scopes directly in their solutions by configuring the Web API permission request property in the config file. The format is quite intuitive. You simply specify the name of the API, Microsoft Graph, and the required scopes. Other than that, everything is done. The system will take care of interact with the administrator to grant the permission by itself. Once the solution has been packaged in deployment, the tenant administrator can use SharePoint user interface to review and consent for the query permissions. No unfamiliar user interfaces are needed to access PowerShell. Everything can be performed directly from SharePoint tenant administration. And now, let's see that in action. Here I am in Visual Studio Code, and this example I'm using a web part to access user information by using Microsoft Graph. As you can see here, the code is quite simple. I specify the endpoint in Microsoft Graph that I want to use, the version, and the information that I want to retrieve. And that's pretty much it. The libraries will take care of everything by themselves. In the package of the configuration of the solution, I also specify which kind of permissions and scopes that I need in order to perform my operation inside my code. In this example, I am accessing Microsoft Graph, and I'm access to the users.readbasic.all permission scopes. I've now compiled and packaged my solution, and my solution is ready to be deployed. As a tenant administrator, I go to the app catalog, and I simply take the package and drag the package inside the app catalog. By doing this, the system recognizes that this solution in the package requires access to web APIs and invites me to point to a page where, where I will be able to go there and approve or reject this kind of permissions that the, re the application requires. While I'm here, I'm also selecting this option to make the solution available immediately across all the site collection in the tenancy. I click Deploy, and then I go to the SharePoint Admin Center. Here, I have a new option called API Management. Once I'm here, I can see that the permission user.readbasic.all for the Microsoft Graph endpoint are available here for me to be approved or rejected. And those are, if you remember, the same permission that, the, as a developer, I was specifying inside the config file. I simply se select this item, I click on Approve or Reject, and I click Approve. And now I'm done. You can see that the system recognized that I approved the permissions, and the permissions are ready to be used by my application. I go to a modern page that I previously created. I edit that modern page. I go to the toolbox, and I Select the new web part that I created, and once the web part is available, here I type the name that I want to search for. And by using the power of Microsoft Graph, I'm able to retrieve the information from the directory service.